Friday Phillip, sponsored by Whitmire Construction. Hey, my friends, Brian here, and welcome to Friday Phillip. I've got my Addison with me, and today we're going to be making Sloppy Joes. Sloppy Joes. All right, Addie, what do we need? Some big ground beef. About a pound of ground beef. Some brown sugar. Gotcha. Chopped up onions, big buns, cold cheese, some sauce. Barbecue sauce. And some like, tomatoes. Rotel. Yep. Seasoning, hot sauce. Very simple. First thing, add the ground beef. Add the chopped onions. And you can also add the rotel. There you go. Add the mustard while you count to three. One, two, three. Give it one more good squirt. There you go. You want to do that? Barbecue sauce too? Yep. All right. Same thing. You add the barbecue sauce. And count to three. There you go. Get in there. I'll put it over. One, two, three. Three. Go for the seasoning. Get it in there. I'll throw in some brown sugar too. I love it that you can help out with me. Are you having fun cooking? Yep. Now mix it up. Mix it all up for me, baby. Mmm, mm. sloppy Joe, slop, sloppy Joe. Let that Not all just the mix can. together. Not just the can. Mm -mm. This okay. is the real stuff. Okay, folks, so after it is all mixed up, it looks like that. You can leave it on the grill or the stove top. What I like to do is put it in the smoker and let it simmer for about 15, 20 minutes. About halfway through, add some cheese. Mm. All right, it has been in the smoker for about 20 minutes. I've added the cheese, and there you go, Sloppy Joe's. You may have noticed during this segment, I was cooking a poblano pepper here. I personally like to scrape off a little bit of that pepper and add it to my Sloppy Joe. All right, it's been in the smoker for about 20 minutes. It smells good. I think Bolt agrees. Now it is time to load our buns. Now load up your bun there. Yep. All right, and here's the best part. You get to get all sloppy with the Sloppy Joe. You're gonna have more on mine? Let's take a bite, ready? One, two, two three. Mmm. Mmm. Sloppy Joe's. Now, check out this other great place. Now let's head on up to Mont Eagle Mountain, where you will find the Cafe Depot. This mom and pop has been open for about seven years, and they serve some of the best food on the mountain or in the valley, too. Check it out. They've got a wonderful breakfast selection every day, farm fresh eggs, bacon, sausage, pancakes, everything that your body can crave. Or if you want to hang out for lunch, they've got an incredible lunch buffet that they change items on a daily basis. Plus, they got some of the best fried chicken you will ever have on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Homemade desserts daily. Stop by right on top of the mountain in beautiful Mont Eagle. Check it out this fall and enjoy the colors, enjoy the food, and enjoy the family atmosphere at the Cafe Depot.